Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Jimmy. Morning. How are you doing today? I'm amazing. It's a great day. You know, we live in such a great place. The weather's so perfect here. It's almost like we're at the beach. It is, yeah. And I don't miss the water. <laughs> did you run today? No, I did not. No, what did I did you do? I, I ran yesterday. Well, I was awake till two this morning. Ah. So when I finally went to sleep and my alarm went off, I went back, I stayed <laughs> until six thirty. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my God. Like, what you're, is wrong with you? Because he didn't know I had human. <laughs> I'm almost human. <laughs> no, but I, I did lose a couple pounds, so I am happy about that. <laughs> That's always good. I've got uh, seven more to go. Hmm. Okay, so what's going on? We have 17 days of inventory. We, What the good news is and where the star is, Jimmy, we listed 142 homes yesterday, so I'm ecstatic about that. And we put 117 under contract, and we closed 119. And that that shows that we're doing about 116 sales a day in may we're not quite up with uh, april we were doing 154 155 which was i don't know if we're going to uh, be able to beat that record because march we did 151 so we're still lagging behind here a little bit in may do you have any thoughts on why maybe just the people that we're trying to buy a lot of them have gotten into a house might just be that you know they're getting ready to get out of school so see there's a little seasonal yeah. Yeah. That's what I would think too. And uh, we talked about this earlier, the, the million dollar stats. So we have 536 sales so far this year, which is now 87% of all of last year. And I made note that the, the actives dropped to 309. Now I don't know if there was expirations or what, but I'm going to research that. I didn't have time this morning, Jimmy, but hopefully by tomorrow I have some type of ideas why it dropped. Cause I think it was hovering around 350. So for some reason we lost uh, more than we sold. It looks like to me. So we'll have to figure that out. And I wanted to show people the stats here. Um, Let's see if I have that slide. I, I'm going to just give you a shout out right now. This ranking report that you're showing them is only available to brokers. Yeah. So if you're not a broker, you're not going to see this. But if you're a salesperson, you might want to see this. So I think this is a really nice piece to your show that we don't do all the time or you don't do all the time. But I think if you're a salesperson, you should be paying attention to this chart right here. This is a big deal. And you can't get it as a salesperson. Only brokers can get this. Correct. And what it shows, the stars are the number of iBuyer and new homes and non-MLS that are in the top uh, 15. And um, you can see that a lot of our uh, sales are in those categories. Um, I'm going to post this in the group. Uh, I've been I'm finally pretty uh, accurate as to uh, doing what I say I'm going to do, Jimmy. <laughs> Sometimes I say I'm going to post something and then it's like the weekend before I remember I was supposed to do it, but I'm getting better folks. I'm getting better. So, um, yeah, you, you can see the nominalist non MLS keeps at the top of the charts. And Jimmy, what's your uh, definition of that? Well, it could be, it could be, a an office that does land that that's non MLS and they've sold it. So they're on the selling side. Um, I don't know how somebody in non MLS would get a listing. So this, I would think they're only on the buyer sides and the chart's a little bit small for me to see the whole thing. Maybe I should hide my face and let me see if I can see that. Okay. These aren't lands. These are just residential too. Yeah. Can you do that? I, I keep uh, something I keep forgetting to do. I want to yeah. see. Can you do that? I, I keep uh, something I keep forgetting to do. Okay. I don't think they heard what you said. So let me put you back up here. So go ahead, Jimmy, say what you were going to say. All I can say is I don't know. I will call MLS today and find out because I don't know how somebody non MLS gets reported as an agent ranking. I'll find out. I'll call the MLS today and find out. Okay. Got your back. Uh, sorry, folks. I always like to do it. Um, can you hide me chat. again so I can see this better? Yeah. Let me hide you again.
George Kipiro Zillow's number two. And then we have Open Door, number three. And uh, Jamie Griffin, she's uh, number four, but she's uh, a regular salesperson. And uh, Brinkus has just been going crazy this year because he has partnered up with Barbara Cochran, who is one of the uh, sharks on Shark Tank. And um, hold, please. <laughs> Anyway, he's uh, partnered up with Barbara Cochran, and, and I don't know if anybody's seen their advertising, but it's really phenomenal because Barbara talks about um, his his benefits of doing business with him, not how much business he's done. You know, it's not a vanity um, advertisement, and it's really good, and it shows Rick and Terry, and you know that they, they they're very photogenic. It's a great video ad. It's abs and I and I've seen his numbers double, Jimmy, from last year because of that. And then we then we've got um, let's see, uh, Enzo. He's with um, a Precision Real Estate, and I think they do. I don't know if they do auctions. They do some. They're, they've got some type of a special. Uh, I think they might do auctions. Um, and then you've got um, uh, two or three more. And then you've got KB Homes in there. And then you have uh, Offer Door. Um, <clears throat> so you've got five of the top uh, eleven. You know that are iBuyer platforms, new homes, or the non MLS. So. Um, there you go. And if you can see the number down here, everybody, uh, this is from January 2021 to, to uh, yesterday. And it shows that we are doing sales of agents and we're doing residential high rise and multiple dwelling. Those are all the, um, the ones that have uh, just real estate, not uh, land, not just land uh, or no land at all. Excuse me. Let me, uh, I'm trying to talk and navigate here. Let me put you back up here so you can talk. Well, okay. I can talk even if I'm not up there. But I, yeah. the the point is made that that the the eye buyer market is back and they're and they're pushing numbers and uh, and this is just it's impressive to know what somebody can do that has the same amount of time as you and I. If you have 168 hours a week and you're coming in the top 15, you're you're doing a lot of business. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible. And. Um, uh, Aaron Taylor usually shows up more toward the end of the month. And uh, he's, uh, for the year, I think he's, um, let's see, is he on there? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's number 12. Yeah, he's number 12. I mean, Aaron Taylor, he's in this office. I mean, and he's he's got a machine and he just keeps doing the same thing all the time. And the one thing about today that we're going to talk about, Jimmy, is database. And he is a Buffini database master. He does the pop buys. He does the client parties. He does everything that Buffini tells you to do. And look where he is. And he'll tell you himself um, that he he was penniless in 2008, and it started with one sale. He listed somebody's home. He went door knocking. He listed somebody's home. He held a, a housewarming party, and from there he's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's number 14, and so he's done. Let's see uh, how many sales Aaron Taylor has done. 84 sales this year so far. That's awesome. And I see him working constantly. And his team, you never hear peep out of his team. Man, they keep their nose to the grindstone. He's got a gal that handles his um, buyer sides. His he's got a gal that handles his listing sides. And then he has uh, a gal that does his uh, marketing. So, And they all work hard every day. And, well, and I think that's the caution you have to have with numbers is the Brinkus team is huge. I mean, they're huge. So some of the deals they get are brought in by their team members. It all goes under the Brinkus team. Aaron's team is a lot, lot smaller. But George Kiprios, the Zillow team, everything that that Zillow company does goes through that, goes through his number to give them more market share and more visibility. But it's not all him. He's got a no. big team that work under him. And I think he pays a salary on some, for some of those people. Yes, so he it's does. It's a different model. Yeah, it is. Totally, totally is.